Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see how to achieve update operation in IDD application that is Informatica Data Director. So, so far we have seen uh, what is the overview of the IDD. Then we have seen the each module and the each uh, label and the most of the functionality from the IDD application. So once you configure the IDD application in the IDD administrator, you can able to access the IDD application. So IDD application is normally used by the data store or the business people in order to update, add or the monitor, the, monitor the data. On today's session, uh, uh, so we have seen the select query in the but in today's session we will see how to update the record using the IDD application so we are going to see what are the configuration we have to made at the MDM hub console side what are the IDD configuration we need to make using the administrate IDD administrator then we will use the IDD applications update functionality to update the record and we will verify finally the record in the term into the database so let's go and start the today's session so in order to do any update operation at the IDD site first you the basic requirement you should have the BO configured so we have this BO BO address and the BO client already configured uh, so for the BO client we have the first name last name and the other columns for the BO address, we have the address line 1, address line 2 and the other columns. Along with that, uh, you need to go to the secure resources and make sure all those base objects have appropriate privilege. Otherwise, those will not be accessible. So, let me take a right. So, if you see the base object is secure. So, this uh, client uh, address and the client if it is private then those will not be accessible in the IDD so this is a very basic requirement along with that uh, if you are using package like the put address because put packages are required for the update operation so make sure those have the secured also these are the basic requirement in order to update the record at the IDD side so let's go and create one sample project give the like IDD update customer mentions IDD application customer update and the same I will copy so we have uh, given the basic details now we need to configure the other details so I'm selecting that the first thing you need to you need to bind the given sample project to those specific ORS so I'm going the CMX ORS the drop down you can see sample or the CMX ORS I'm selecting a CMX ORS then you have to bind so there are the all these systems which are available in the informatic mdm hub those will be available so more appropriate select the admin because it's kind of admin and uh, it will have the, all the privileges if you use any other um, system like crm the records which are coming for the updating cells will not be get updated or will not be get selected so select appropriate source system and click the bind button hierarchy manager we are not configured yet so we keep it as empty so now we will configure the subject area groups so what will we do um, we will create sample subject area like customer this is sample uh, subject area group in the same XORS we have to select the primary table the primary table will be the client and click OK so the customer subject area group is created we will add a subject area just click uh, select the subject area group and create a 
uh, click on the subject area button I will provide uh, here the name of subject area is profile display name is profile if you, if you want to add any condition you can add or you can just uh, leave it for now I think I'm not going to add any that means I'm not going to filter anything the columns we have to uh, change the column selection here if you want to select only few columns like first name last name full name click ok so you can see those columns so here it is saying uh, what is required what is mm, here are the details um if you if you want this column is required or not client id is required here hidden so these fields are get populated based on the what you have configured at the hub side for example if you see go to the schema and the client so in the client the client id is required because if you see it's not nullable and along with that it is unique so if you have the column which is unique which which is means it, it is required column and it is not nullable so that is it makes her mandatory hidden if you want to hide in this IDD view then you can mention it's uh, uh, like um, hidden as well no you can change the layout and do that editable means yes it is editable or not these are the setting required match setting is not required for now or we can use any specific match rule which we have created or match column then the search functionality on the one on which column you are going to search search on child if you are going to search on the child data security if you are using the data masking then you have to configure at a, accordingly in the data masking section cleans function what are the clean function you are going to use in your fun, uh, in your project that is ID application that you can mention so you, you have the data conversion and the geo, geo, geographic um, clean function for now for example if I select the data conversion so the cleans function get available for you you can use that for now I clear it and make it as empty the labels the, if you're using some specific labels for available columns uh, then you can use that task assignment if you're going to you can create the task here and assign the task to a particular user a particular uh, business administrator then we have here the order of ch children like potential matches extra relationship you can change the order as per your project requirement i'm clicking ok okay so before that this is mandatory column search so result display package so here i will use the client uh, display package uh, sorry client put package so i got the profile let me add one more subject area so here i will mention the address address of that particular user or particular client but here i can't see the address the reason behind that is if you go to the secure resources and we have the put address but we are not created a, a parent child relationship that's why we are not able to see the corresponding um, address inside this but if you select display 360 let me try with this you can't see the address okay okay so in order to add the addresses as a child you have to configure the corresponding child thing so let me go and for now I will save this uh, so I just saved that and uh, and uh, so now what we have we have the subject area group we have the subject area now we are going to add the subject area child means for the corresponding customer there should be some address or some other details so we are going to add the address for this profile select this profile add subject area child now here you can mention the address 
the display name will be address and if you go here in the MDM hub console and you can check that uh, for for the particular client we can have the multiple addresses even if you go to the schema viewer we can check what is the relation between the so if you see the relationship for the one client we can have many addresses like we we can have the physical address we can have the business address we can have the any other address like the residential or the office address so it is one to many relationship so that's why uh, we are going to create one to many relationship in the application as well so child type is one to many so it's a, we have the logical one and one part of a reference part of primary object so here we have we have the one to many relationship the match path to the child so here is the address so how this ADR is coming so it is coming because if you go to the schema and the bio object client go to the match and merge set name and what are the path you configured ADR that is we are able to see in the IDD side so if you have configured the multiple uh, multiple childs for that given client those will be available in this drop down so for now we are only able to see the ADDR we will select that is ADDR that is address default view so the what kind of means with what feature the data will be displayed either in the table format or the form format so if you want to use any of that format you can choose for now I'm choosing the table in the table format if you are in using any data masking for the particular uh, column or, or for the particular column you can mention and the data will be displayed as a mask for the given users the cleans function if you are using any clean function you can mention also if you want to filter some data so you can subtype means you can provide the uh, like if you want to use only the u New York state data then just use the state and uh, values NY so the data will be filtered on that and it will be get displayed or it is available for the editing so now we are going to see uh, we are going to um, add some columns from the address so these are the columns available add this select one and extra okay I think extra is not required we'll use this one let's see we'll click OK so we now have the profile and its address just save it if you click this validate button so this uh, this is coming in the 10.0 version and uh, if you are not configured the composite service object then you will get the errors so make sure everything is configured properly now it is not validated so I am selecting the project and the validity it is saying this state management must be enabled for the subject area of state management okay for now I am going full deployment let's see this that the what are the error we have got that is known error because of the bug in the IDD application uh, ID, uh, 10.0 version of the informatic MDM which is uh, have the hotfix already available but in my IDD installable I have not applied the hotfix that uh, that's why I'm getting the error so we got the um, so if you see the status as a green that means it is got deployed we can ignore that error for now and we will see how to update the record so I just click that the link and I got this administrator uh, this uh, IDD application I will log into this application so you know that how to create the queries but for now we are not going to uh, create the queries rather we are going to update the data so uh, we know that uh, for the data we have the queries okay saved queries and all that this is new app this is completely new application so we have not any saved queries let's try to create one more uh, in order to create go to this select 
advance customer and wow this is good so uh, let's create one query so what we are mentioning we went to uh, advanced section and there we got a uh, few of the things like the, we have the address detail we have the cu customer so we will choose the first name to create the query let's validate the query so click the validate query button it will give the pop up with the validation is successful close and we click that's ok so we got the query here we will search with the record mic because we know that there, this record is available in the database so we have the row id object 1 the first name last name client id ssn and full name so we will update this record and uh, let's see whether it's reflected properly in the database or not so we are going to update the record with the row id object 1 open this record so we got the first name last name client id it's a ssn and the full name so what we are going to do so if you see at the right side there is one edit button click on that and now the fields are editable for this given record we will see whether any address is present or not there is no address present so we will add the address for that record as well so what i'm changing here the ssn of this record i will changing like some other value so i just make it 111 and instead of full name i mention Michael B. Paul client it is let's it is fine so we have changed uh, SSN and the full name we will add some address also so either you can if it is already present you can edit that but if it is not so you can just add with the plus sign so we will add the address line like this address line 2 I will add like some dummy apartment number state I am adding as a NY postal code you can add anything as per your wish and I will apply this first so it got applied so the entity has been created but it is not saved we will see how to save that apply okay so once you're done with this all application so so all these entities are just created but it is not committed at the database side so in order to commit you have to save this button once you save that or once you press that save button it will actually mm, save the record into the database for now we are getting could not find lookup value 1 for the client id okay so that means some uh, lookup configuration at the mdm hub side is missing we have to go into back to the mdm hub and we have to configure that lookup values so let's go there and configure the lookup values so we know that uh, so when we try to open and update we were getting the error uh, saying that there was lookup missing so what i did uh, i changed some configuration so there was one configuration was missing at the cells address tables and that was nothing but this lookup was missing so i added this lookup here so now what i am going to do i will uh, make some changes in this and as I mentioned I will change like this Michael Michael C or something C Paul I will apply this so now the, the change is applied I will save this first 
now go and update the address or the address is not present so i will create new address like to to new port any dummy apartment number then the state is i'm providing as ny and code pin code is something like this let's apply this so the change is applied but it is not committed yet mark save the application so it is still saying the local value one is missing one second the thing is that if you see the client id is one two three that we need to modify to one because the local value now it is pointing to one and the record success get, successfully gets saved so so this is the way you can update the record so let's go at the database side and we will check whether the record is up appropriately inserted or not so first thing uh, we'll just refresh this database and this is the record if you see uh, the michael c paul with the client id one and ssn values also changed to some other values along with that some other uh, column also get populated like the interaction id so this is this is the process id if you are updating any record using idd application this column get populated the last row id system also get changed to the system o that is admin system and the other data is also present we can have we, um, we can check into the cross reference also whether the record got properly inserted in the cross reference or not so if you see the today's state with us okay so the record is get insert uh, properly get inserted in the cross reference also so we have the cross reference record entry as well so let's go into the address table and we will see whether the corresponding address is present in the address table so we added the new port that is new address with this new entry so if you see the 22 new port apartment 111 and some other detail so i think the changes one which we are making using the idd application those get properly inserted now let's try to search this record and we will see whether that record is available in the search field i'm running this search so, yeah so even if i'm searching the window also i can get the same record which is get updated Okay, it's saying the tab is already open. So what I'll show, I will do this again. Oh, session got expired. Okay, let me log into this application again. It is now showing the which application you are going to use. I'm using the IDD update. Go to the queries select the query we are not saved the query so that's why we are going to create again sample if you are not aware of this how to create you can see my previous videos so the request is validated i'll provide the name as mike and i can see this record less open and we'll see whether the address is also available and the address is also available so i think um so we have made the, all the changes properly and it is looking fine so this is for the today session how to update the record using the idd application i hope this uh, video is helpful for you if you have any questions you can mention in the video below Thanks for watching the video.